Hi everyone and welcome to the shop. Today's project I've entitled Building the Ultimate Controller. Now by this I don't mean I'm building the best, the greatest or anything of that nature. What I mean is I'm building hopefully the last controller I need for this uh, machine. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add uh, some future proofing into it. What I've found is over the last uh, few years is that the PCs I have out in the workshop, they just don't last. They, uh, they die uh, for various reasons, cold, moisture, dampness, um, dust, uh, probably a combination of all three. And I'm after something more reliable. It's, it's a right pain having to come out here and you go to do a project and you find that the thing just isn't working. So you think I'll spend half a day pulling the PC apart, getting it going again, and um, before you can finally get on with the project. So uh, my solution to this is to use a laptop. Now laptops uh, have, have issues as well. Um, the biggest being that uh, parallel ports are now becoming a thing of the past. Uh, my current laptop uh, that I use for general day-to-day -day, uh, work just doesn't have a parallel port on it. So the idea is to go to USB. That's sort of again going to future-proof it. USB is going to be around for uh, quite a bit longer. So to this end, what I want to do is fit a smooth stepper into my machine. Now, my uh, controller is built into an old PC case. So I had a look around the shop to see what I had uh, laying about and I came up with this. This is an old um, bay for a three and a half inch floppy disk drive. And what I thought I could do is I could build the smooth stepper fitted into here, um, put a USB plug out the front here and it would just simply slide into the uh, one of the spare bays on the uh, PC. The good thing about the smooth stepper uh, is that it's fully self-contained. This is all I need. I don't need uh, to run power to it or anything of that nature. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a piece of uh, PVC here. It's four millimeters thick and I will cut out the piece, the insert to go in here. So here's the finished piece. It's, uh, as you can see, I've cut keyholes into it. It's a little bit of uh, PVC in the holes there. That's fine. And it's set to go into here like so. That's the other way around there. Like that. Now, the keyholes are so I can use these here. These are out of a, an old PC. Sorry, I'll just drop that one. Uh, there we go there and it will just slot into the PVC like so just in and slot in like that now as you can see the keyholes are coming from different sides of the material so once the smooth stepper just plugs onto those uh, these will be locked in place and uh, it will be firmly held All right, so this is going to be the front piece what I've done is I've made this piece on the table saw. Why the table saw? It's quicker and easier. Um, it just took no time at all to make. I was able to fit it, get it spot on. Once I put it in place, I, once I cut it, I put it in the holder, in the uh, floppy disk drive holder, and I marked where the centre of the hole was, uh, which as you can see is actually off centre from the actual piece itself. Um, 
if I'd actually been drawing it up I probably would have missed that little bit and uh, would have been cutting another piece. Right, so what I've done is I've now lined my cutter up with the little uh, cross I have there and uh, that's going to be the centre of my cutout piece to take the um, uh, to take the uh, USB adapter. So we'll just cut this hole out. Okay, now you notice I took multiple cuts when doing this. That's because I'm using a, a, a upcutting spiral cutter, and um, it has a tendency to lift the plastic. And uh, I've been trying to avoid that. So by making the nice shallow cuts, it won't do that. Okay, let's see if my uh, USB adapter fits here. That doesn't look too bad. Can't quite see, didn't quite make it through the material for the holes. Everything should line up, and it does. So that's going to be good. That's going to be my front panel there. It's now assembly time, so if I've done this right, it should all go together very nicely. So here's my front plate, and I'm just going to screw it in place like so, with a couple of screws. I enlarged these holes here out to four millimeters so that uh, these screws would uh, have clearance so they could pull up nice and tight. Okay, so there we go there. That's it there and as you can see the USB plug fits in there quite nicely. Okay, so next that's going to go in here, that should be a nice tight fit. Hold in and pulled up nice and tight like so. And there we have it there, the front face. And now the bottom plate for mounting the smooth stepper goes in place. And I, I marked and drilled holes earlier to match up with these that were already in place on the board. I'm just going to push it hard forward as I do this one here up and that will hold it in here at the bottom so that it can't go anywhere, it won't be pushed back when you push the USB plug into it. And we'll do the same for the other side just turn that in there. Uh, all I did is I drilled uh, two and a half millimeter holes for these screws and as I wind them and of course they just cut their own thread and last but not least okay that's good next I'm going to just insert these units here And last but not least, the, the uh, smooth step will clip on there. Okay, you'll see now that I'm sporting this uh, new piece of jewellery here. This is an anti-static wrist strap. Um, should be used when dealing with uh, electronic units like this here. It just discharges uh, any static. Uh, the other end of it's grounded. Right, so I'm taking the board here. And it just simply clips on like so there. I've let this cord pass under there and it'll just loop around and plug into the unit like that. So that gives me my USB connection through to the front. Last but not least I need to take port 1 and just connect this cable here up to it and this here will just head out the back. What I need to do now is put this into the bay of my 
uh, laptop case, uh, PC case, sorry, and I can just bring this here out below the uh, below the G540 and plug it into the front of the unit. So there you are. There's my smooth stepper installed in a case, really just to put straight into my machine. Right, well as you see the smooth step has now been put into the uh, casing. It took me a couple of minutes, just took out the spare bay, slipped it in and put a couple of screws and that was it. Plugged it into the um, front of the G540 and I've uh, now just connected my laptop up to it. So next, um, about the only thing I can do is try out the infamous Roadrunner and uh, we'll see if it all moves as, as we expect. Here goes. Well, I think there's going to be very little doubt it's actually moving. Uh, it seems to be following what's on the screen. And uh, even if it is moving a bit slower than I'd like it to, it's a good start. At least uh, um, the smooth step is working. And uh, obviously I've got to do a bit more on uh, motor tuning and the like to get it running uh, as fast as I'd like. But in general, um, the smooth step is now installed in my controller. And uh, I can now start the job of um, learning how to use Mac 3. Okay guys, well I, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the uh, installation of the Smooth Stepper. Might give you some ideas uh, if you want to do one of your own. And uh, I'll leave you to it. Cheers.